Welcome to The Advocate, a program that thrashes out all the topical issues of the day. When you are in government, you don't see nothing wrong mm, with exactly. whatever is happening. The moment you are out there, everything is that wrong. Is, you can't even see yes. many women now, and when they're there, they're not even really making a mark, and then they have an NYSC problem, and this is that. Really? It's disastrous for a president to, even say to be unaware. unaware of it, the chief it's justice. It's a ploy. It could be a strategy. That strategy it's was a terrible, like fire. A terrible <laughs> strategy. <laughs> because the box stops at your table. Whether it's that we don't look after our cities, and quite frankly, Nigeria is becoming a very ugly place. Mm. When you are the only one feeding the people with this news, and there is nobody countering them, it becomes, you know, the, the news. Welcome to The Advocates and to a hotbed of atomic issues. I'm striking the match by zeroing in on the pen chop, pension matter. When will all this chop chop end? I hear you say. Victoria is stirred up by the hate speech bill and its ramification. We can't sound the alarm bell enough on this as far as I'm concerned. Chuka has had it up to here with his sofa head wahala and is now resorted to singing about it with Regina's sofa head. John, or Dr. Boala as he's known, is a first time advocate, but as you will soon see, he has been long prepared for this. We'll be tackling the wasteful phenomena that is called the brain drain. Ekene is on a women's advocacy tip. However, I should be careful before she will soon warn me that it's not a women's advocacy, but a people's advocacy. She has titled it All for One. So the countdown has begun in earnest when the shade blast off after the break. Eating more than is adequate, especially in the face of scarcity, for the majority could be termed greed or gluttony. Pen chop, pension. I recently stumbled on a letter dated the 17th day of October 2019, purportedly written by former governor of Zamfara State, Honorable Abdul Aziz Yari, where he was complaining about non-payment of his retirement upkeep of 10 million naira monthly. Hmm, that's heavy. He stated that the last time he received the said sum was in July, and requested that by the pension law of Zamfara State, his pension and upkeep allowance are not in the categories of privileges that can be truncated without any justifiable reason. <laughs> Grammar. It's not news that Nigeria spends close to 40 billion naira on pension for former governors and former deputy governors in Nigeria annually. Majority of these former chief executives are drawing this humongous payout despite the lean resources of their states. Wickedness. These allowances, which are similar in nature across the various states, ranges from vehicle renewal and maintenance, housing allowance and salaries, medical benefits for themselves and their families. According to the recent survey, over 36.3 billion was expended on servicing 47 former governors from 21 states of the Federation in pension payment and provisions of houses for staffs and motor vehicle replacement between three and four years. According to the said report, payment of pensions to former governor for over a four year cycle are highest in Bochi, Rivers, Akwaibom, Kwara, Zamfara, Edo, and Lagos State with former governors drawing well over 40 billion naira over these four years. Even poor states like Kwara that can't pay workers' salaries are not left out for the country. Shameful. These pensions and allowances are side the prescribed 300% severance packages for governors by the Revenue Mobilization, Allocation and Fiscal Commission as provided for in the certain political office holders and judicial officers remuneration act. A look at the pension law of Rivers, Kwara, Edo, Zamfara, Lagos, Bauchi, and Akwaibom will reveal a lot of similarities. But I will summarize all by peeping into the pension for former governors, laws of Lagos State, as a benchmark. Now, let me shock you. Listen to this 100% annual basic of equivalent salary for life for a former governor. The former governor gets six new cars every three years, even if he's opening a car shop. Deputy gets three or five cars every three years. The former governor gets a house in Lagos and in Abuja, any place of his choice. Why the deputy gets a house in Lagos only? Free medical care for the governor, this deputy, and their families for life. They are also entitled to cooks, steward, gardeners, and domestic staffs, all pensionable. Worst of all, 300% of annual basic salaries every two years as financial allowance for the governor and his deputy. Also, 
100% of annual basic salaries as house maintenance allowers. The house you build, you still maintain it for them. Two DSS officials, one female officer, of course, for madame, and eight policemen. No wonder there are none left to guard the rest of us. Deputy Governor gets one DSS operatives, two policemen. And then, listen to this also. 25% of annual salaries for personal assistance. You must get personal assistance. 30% of annual basic salaries as car maintenance. So those six cars, you still maintain them for them. In spite of what they had taken while in office. 20% of annual basic salary also as utility allowance. No name. Pensionable drivers, no limit to the numbers. And finally, severance benefits, like 300%. Despite all these, some of these former governors still turn the Senate into a retirement home, while others are ministers, all drawing salaries in spite of these pensions. Unfortunately, the entitlement they enjoy are far more than what political office holders in developed and rich countries enjoy. More of why we will continually remain a developing country. You can't close your eyes to this ugly trend and pretend to fight corruption. It's impossible. We all must realize that we are the ones in opposition in Nigeria and not the political office holders in either APC or PDP. And we can't build a strong and very country where public institutions work by emptying the state treasury to take care of a few who govern the state for a maximum of eight years. Why those that served the states during their youthful years for 35 years are dying by installment for lack of pension. My advocacy today would be if we remove the houses in Lagos and Abuja, the 300 and 100% of annual basic for furniture allowances and house maintenance allowance, cut down the number of cars to two by five years and reduce the number of policemen to just two, we would have saved enough to fund or fix some of these dilapidated roads and abandoned public hospitals. Wow. And, uh, wow. This, this kind of you know, makes you feel ashamed to be Nigerian ashamed to be African and ashamed to be black. And the narrative that the white man... I think man, it's a black problem. No, no, no let me, that, that's why, let me finish. And that's why the narrative that the white man weaves about us not knowing what to do, not having the capacity to do anything, in other words, just being unintelligent and not able to do these things, starts to ring true when you listen to what he has just read out. Sorry, um, I, I, I want to challenge you on that no, before no, no, you no. go any further. No, no, no. I know I wasn't. I, I yes. know there was a period where they had the sleaze matter in the UK, where the bankers and the governors, people were having houses in different parts of England. So it's not that which, it's, which it's human nature. There no, was a which, time no, where they no, had no, no, the no, no, which, no, which no, they're not talking about. No, which um, people? No, these were not, they're, these they're, were they're, public they're, office holders. These were not public office holders. No, but even when they had governors, MPs that were mm. were having two on houses. On pension, on no, pension. No, no, they were having two houses. They were, they were MPs in no, the UK. No, MPs in the UK. Who were having two houses MP. in London and in the suburbs. Yes. So it's, it's human nature. No, 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 no. No, those houses were there. He's trying to say that the nature of greed and gluttony is somehow a black Greed and No, you see, let me tell you. The fact that I like good things does not make me greedy. Absolutely. No, no, no. Those, he's yeah. he's talking about greed now. Houses. He's not talking about just liking No, no, that's why I gave you the wanting. example of people who had two houses. They were exploiting the system. They were, and they were exploiting were the to system book. for... The, do you know the kind of money they were exploiting the system for? Those some of them were some of them were almost having to resign as MPs for for five thousand pounds. No, no, the point for, is that it for exists 2, in human pounds. Chuka, but let's be honest, it exists in human why nature. Are we, it's just that the system got... polices it better. Let's not no, make no, it a black man's No, 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 no. It is a black man's problem because why are we why why is our human system? Because I think this is somehow taken away from the fact that because this is tied to pension. You will not find it in some of these European countries where they would tie to Because their systems are much more transparent than ours. I don't I think I, I, I so, it takes away from the strength beyond. of the advocacy so to, to start add, looking at it as if it's To add to what you are somehow. saying is that, it's not necessary. If, okay, not if since it is human nature, or especially black man's <laughs> nature, to want to do this, not, the, system, the system should find a way of checking this essence. That's where we come but to an where agreement. But where the system mm. is the one creating Even the essence, yes. legally and, speaking, yes. then... Yes. You can now begin to say it's a black manager. No, That's I would never say that. But please carry on. I just, wanted to, I just wanted to obstruct me, that argument. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, you know, a country that is still de receiving development aid yes. from foreign countries to address 
primary health care mm -hmm. problems. Mm -hmm. yeah. You know what they call primary health care? <laughs> yes. Basically. The ones that are in the rural areas. Yes. Not really teaching hospitals. Yes. yes. Primary things. Then. Look at how a, large you're living. Few people yes. that have served the state corner of these resources. You know, there's also another problem. What I'll I think is a bad man, what, what I think is a black, black man's there, problem. No, 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 I don't agree distracted. that, I don't agree that corruption is a black man. <laughs> no, somebody is a black man. It's it's what, is, what, is, what is an in, what is insane like yeah. is the level, the kind of provision. <laughs> When you say 300%. Yes. I mean, when do you... Do you Three like, times your salary. You're not even yes. shocked that you should say that. Then 100% no, 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 every two years. Sorry, let me even come in and say Things that. Things are supposed to be percentages yeah. of originals. Yes. That is, the is if they say 25%, they, they we'll say, say that's a whole quarter. Salary. Yes. But 300 percent No, but uh, uh, let me just remind you. What I wanted to make is... It's a tag team. It's, it's, it's a premeditated daylight robbery. What you're looking at is because it took several people oh, yes. to, to, to hold hands get together. To get this thing. So to you have the, the uh, executives uh, 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 who are greedy. I'm coming. The, the executives who are greedy. Right. You have the lawmakers who are happy to position themselves Correct. because they know that their time They're is going coming. To get you know, it's, it's all hard to. You uh, have to form a ring. Say, of and I must quickly people. add that most of these laws were the quickest laws ever passed in the history Absolutely. of the country. Yes. That of Aquaibon was passed in 13 days. Oh my yes. God. River State yeah, yeah, was yeah, almost right, the yes. same day. Yeah, and look at right. minimum you wage, how long yes. we waited yes. to even approve it. Yes. 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 And, 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 uh, sorry. sorry, what's also leading to this is, is because they don't actually make use of the fund properly. If things are set in place, if you have good roads, yes. good hospitals, you will not be thinking of Collecting huge amount of money or have a cover for life for health care. Yeah. Correct. Yeah. You're you covering yourself. Yes. Okay, I see. You just walk into yeah, yeah, you're yes. subsidizing yes. for yourself. Yes. Correct. Number, number Which two, is what we're all doing. Mm -hmm. um, when you look at, we spoke on education, but you look at water, especially this is Amphara in the north, most of those places don't have drinking water. Right. And it costs nothing to sink a bohole. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So if you take you that 10 million less than that you're giving the governor every thousand. month, mm -hmm. You can use that ten million to seek but twenty boneholes. Twenty boneholes. Yeah. 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 My, my own even the thing that really shakes my mind is to say, are we not seeing that this thing is not sustainable? Even if you did it for one year, you know it's cumulative. Yes. They so don't every care. governor will keep piling their weights behind. Oh, correct. This. How Unless one dies, one, one, Unless we one all become passes governors away, and stand in line. then that one is out it's of crazy. the bill, you know? It's but, crazy. So, but what are yeah. we to do? Because I always want to get to that, what are we to do point. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. What we need to do is cut down on all of these expenses. That's why I said that my advocacy was in our hands. Uh, look, we, we keep advocating for it. So, and, uh, you educate the people so they know when to vote <laughs> in the right people. So who will now cut down on these expenses? Thank God Zamfara had repealed the ass, which is very good. No, you know, and it, yes, yes, they have. During, they this, have. during this period, they quickly yes, they distanced themselves immediately, from him. Immediately, they have repealed that. As though they didn't know he was doing it in yes, the first place. And, and the man collected 300 million as severance package. Yes. And, and well, well. Like I said in my advocacy, we can't close our eyes to this ugly trend and pretend to fight against corruption. After the break, Victoria is certainly not for closing eyes, ears, or even mouth. She challenges what she sees as a trend in shrinking our civic spaces. Hey, Vicky, good to have you on board. <laughs> Thank you, Liberals.